Hey guys, welcome back to Lash Aqua and another video with Mr. Louis De Cruz right here, the Indian Stingray Man. We'll call him the Indian Stingray Man because he's one of the first people to breed stingrays in India. We also made a video on the whole breeding setup that he has here. It's an amazing video. If you haven't watched that, don't forget to watch it. I'll leave the link in the description below or leave a card out here. But in today's video, we're going to be asking or we're going to be talking about a kind of a painful experience you had in the past dealing with stingrays, the time you got stung. So uh, I want him to tell you guys how dangerous this fish could be. So if you guys are planning to have a stingray, this is how you take any precaution. Also, Lewis, I would request you to catch a stingray for us at the end of this video and show us so our viewers at home know how to actually handle a stingray. So we'll start off with the story, what had happened, how did you get stung? Now this happened somewhere in 2018. I think 15 November, to be precise. I was cleaning uh, the tank, you know, and uh, this particular female stung me. Now, my mistake was I, I got too accustomed to them and I was just, you know, taking them for granted and forgot, the, you know, the, the, the when things can go wrong. So, while when I reached the bottom side glass, the bottom part, I got stung. Now a stingray basically will sting you sideways, either right or either left. So this should be kept. Uh, should be kept in mind. Uh, you should keep in mind about. And the stingray can't, you know, sting you frontwards or you know or any other angle. It's just flat lateral movement, but sideways. So this precaution you should keep, uh, you should take. Yeah. And uh, basically the venom is a protein based venom. Yeah. Protein-based hematoxic venom. By hematoxic meaning, it profuse bleeding. Okay. So basically, it does not allow your blood to clot. Okay. So those precautions have to be taken when you you know decide to take up stingrays. That things can go wrong. Okay. However, experience you may be or whatever, that, you know things do happen. I want to ask you: Is it only like does it happen with pups, or is it only that the big stingrays sting you? Now. When a stingray is born, it is born with everything. Okay. The sting, everything, it's perfect, complete. Okay. Just to share something with you now, since you asked, when the stingray yes, is born, uh, the ba the baby has a cover over the sting, so that when she is, you know, uh, delivering, it does not sting the, the mother. Uh, the mother. Oh wow. And that melts off. Okay. This is something I I thought I would share with you since you asked. Okay, so this is how it happens. Like the baby is born with the cover on the sting, yeah. and then so it doesn't affect the mother. That's nature's amazing way, right? Of uh, you know yes, ensuring yes, that the yes. mother doesn't get hurt. But tell us about your finger and how did that incident happen? Now I was cleaning my tank, my one of my breeding tanks. Yeah? Okay. And uh, I, when I was cleaning the side bottom glass, the, the, the corner. I happened to get stung, but it was so quick, I did not even know I was stung. And okay. in about 10-15 seconds, I got shooting pain. Terrible. Okay. It's something you can't explain. One second. I have a sting right here. He has uh, packed it. For okay, he packed his shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have packed it so I can take it back home. I thought we had kept it open. But you were cleaning the glass yeah. and uh, that's when it stung your finger. And could you show us your finger, please? Yeah. So this in this finger you do not have any sensation right no, now. No, I do not. Have. Okay. So this is what it takes, guys, to be a stingray breeder or even a stingray keeper, right? Yeah. Is there any uh, to end this video? Is there any advice you would give uh, future stingray? Because I know a lot of people are going to be watching this video and going to say like, oh my god, I want to keep stingrays just like Lewis. But are there any precautions you would want a, a new uh, stingray keeper to? First to thing have? is you could get stung. Okay. So that is a very high possibility. Now, if you do get stung, do not panic. Okay. The bleeding, the bleeding will be bad. All the first first stage you could, you know, administer is keep your hand under a running tap, a hot water. Okay. On the hot water side, as hot as you can bear. As I said earlier, it is a protein-based venom, so that will help dilute the protein and reduce the effect of the venom. And as far, fast as possible, please go to the hospital. 
Okay. And get your first aid. But I, I'm just wondering if you go to the hospital and tell them like I got stung by a stingray, he'd be like, "Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did that? How did that happen, right? But yeah. everything is perfect now. Everything, the, the your fingers back to normal. Yeah. Only you don't have sensation, yeah. but even you can use your finger as normal as yeah. ever, right? Yes. Yeah. So that is it, guys. That is what I wanted to show you, and that is why I personally asked Louis to share this experience with us. so uh, all the stingray keepers maybe the future keepers or someone who's thinking of keeping stingrays will have it in mind that this is not a fish you want to mess around with it's not as easy as keeping a discus or a guppy yes it is a little difficult it's a little tricky you need to always keep your guard on top now trust me this guy has been doing it for a really long time if he gets stung i don't know what would happen to me i think that is the first time when i put my hand in the water is going to sting me for sure But now, Louis, I want you to show our uh, viewers how to catch a stingray. So, could you show us that? Yes, I will definitely show you. Now, a special request from you. I am going to show you how to catch a stingray. Basically, first thing is you have to approach the stingray from the front. Yeah. Now, from the front, I mean, see, they can reverse. So, you have to be careful. Yeah. Always net the stingray from the front. Yeah. as you can see these guys can take any direction now a stingray will strike you only sideways and remember they get stuck to the glass and it's like a vacuum it will not move now the stingray has come in yeah uh, slowly lift it up now you as you can see the sting it has got two spikes there they grow a sting new sting in about 3 months and it sheds off one sting Keep your hands away. So basically, a stingray will sting you sideways, okay. not in front like this, or if your hand. So basically, you have to take care while cleaning because sideways, both ways, right as well as left. Okay. Stung. And do they sting you when you are cleaning the only the bottom of the tank? You said bottom you... and the sides. Okay, but bottom. lower side, not on top. Not on top, but I wouldn't advise. It's better you use the brushes you get in the market. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful stingray you have here. This is a Brazil motor. And you would never ever ever however brave the person is because you've gotten stung you would never recommend holding or trying to handle the stingray with hands. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Even a experienced breeder like you would not I ever handle. Okay. Person. So, you know, I wouldn't advise. I'll hold a tail out for you so you can take a closer look at the sting. I no, don't worry he can't do anything okay oh wow yeah wow okay. it's a new experience for me as well can i release him yes please be careful and there he goes